The hearing on the proposed budget of the Office of the President breezed through the House Appropriations Panel sans the slightest resistance and without a question. Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles, meanwhile, sadly confirmed the absence of any allocation for IBC-13 in the overall budget requested by the OPS. PDV's Mark Fitalco has the details on the Office of the President getting 8% more than last year's and the OPS slashed amount of close to 25% for this year in this report. The House Appropriations Committee quickly terminated the deliberation on the Office of the President's 9 billion peso proposed budget for 2023. Mr. Chairman, by tradition and extending uh, parliamentary courtesy to a co-equal branch in government, I move to terminate the budget briefing of the Office of the President. Executive Secretary Vic Rodriguez thanked the lawmakers for their support and assured the welfare of Filipinos. In line with the express instruction of uh, His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., you can be assured that the office of the President is here uh, together with you, uh, Your Honors, in uh, meeting the expectation and hopes of the more than 112 million Filipinos which the President now leads, founded on a solid foundation of uh, 31.5 million votes more or less in promoting the people's welfare and upholding the interests of the nation. Meanwhile, Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles warned that IBC-13, a state-owned TV station, will have to shut down by January next year unless it is funded. Angeles said this during the deliberation of House Appropriations Committee on the Office of the Press Secretary's proposed 1.2 billion peso budget for 2023. She said none of the said amount allocated to the OPS would be given to IBC-13. In addition, Angeles reiterated the plan for PTV to be the primary news source like UK's BBC, but emphasized that's impossible unless the government invests in PTV. And bibigyan kami ng 2 billion next year na aabot na yung programming namin dun sa BBC levels, hindi pa po talaga. I-address uh, muna natin yung reach, yung ating equipment, and yung personnel, yung ating labor force doon mismo sa loob both ng IBC at PTV. If we want a BBC type uh, station, we can actually have two, pero gagastos ang po natin to taon-taon. In line with this, Baguio City Representative Mark Go plans to file a proposal aimed at mandating government agencies to provide a large percentage of their advertising budget to PTV. Kung uh, hindi po ninyo uh, ma-persuade yung mga ating mga different uh, government uh, enterprises na mag-advertise sa uh, PTV, pwedeng gawing mandato a uh, certain percent of their uh, budget for advertising uh, to be uh, placed sa uh, ating uh, PTV. Uh, palagay ko mas maganda pong impact diyan. Uh, of course, initially some might uh, not disagree not agree with this, but uh, at your side, uh, I think it's important that uh, we improve yung kalidad ng uh, ano natin ng programa natin para ma-encourage din and at the same time, yung reach natin, kailangan palawakin natin. Meanwhile, the OPS asserted the importance of having a budget that will allow PTV to create plantilla positions for employees' job security. Right now, dahil nga po mababa yung sweldo, hindi pa umaabot sa industry standards, um, ang kinukuha namin yung mga raw talent na we have high hopes of being able to develop into more comp... Uh, into... Uh, how do you call this? Yung professional industry level, kahit na ito pa lang yung aming na i-offer na, na sweldo para sa bayan sa moon, for now. Mark Fetalco for the nation.